Morning everybody, I'm at High Hrothgar, as you can see. I just thought I'd show you one of the entrances to this home, it's the Library of Parthenax. Just around the corner here. But you can't get into this initially. To get the key, you need to pop up to where Parthenax hangs out. Oh, not that one. Walk nervously past all the dragons. And Parthenax is obviously alive and well in my game. And uh, I chose a mod called the Parthenax Dilemma so that I could finish the quest but keep him alive. So I quite love the old boy. But if you walk past him and check out that flag. You can climb down the mountain to what will be the first entrance to your home, your first way in. What a view. What a beautiful morning. Okay, so the key you'll find on the floor, it's, it looks like a great big door knocker. And this home was recommended to me by Thomas. So thanks for this, Thomas, because it's just lovely. I really like it. So as you come in, you've got two options. You can either open the elevator or travel by book. Let's do that one. And look how grand this place is. It's extraordinary and it's full of secrets, which I'm not going to go over th with them, uh, all of them with you because you'll find out for yourself. And there's also the mod author has kindly done a separate little download uh, so that you can see exactly everything that the home comprises and it's a lot a lot of nifty features but isn't it brilliant i've never seen anywhere quite as impressive as this as by way of a library this extraordinary and travel inside the home you can go by basket <laughs> this little doohickey to the bedroom enchanting and the Armour Museum and Workshop. And some things are locked up tight. You won't be able to open them until you've found keys. Which is nice because, you know, it gives you more to do, it adds to the mystery of the place. And it's on several levels, so we'll just check them out one by one. What sometimes look like innocuous little cabinets, do check them all because there's some decent loot in this place for a start. Do you know, I'm going to put my travel lantern on because for videoing purposes it might be a bit dark otherwise. And there are tomes all over the place, skill books that you can find. As well as interactive things. And you know that always makes me happy. Apart from the fact that it's a really good looking place. And I really like how the mod author has designed these bookcases. So for example, if we go up here, You can see that the bookcases, you can actually get up to the top level of the books. Because you know so often they're just hanging there and you're like, well, how on earth am I supposed to use those? Uh, but you can use these. And look at this nifty feature. I'll turn that on or off. Lots and lots of doodads in this home. And things to take. Found a couple of uh, uh, claws, amongst other things.
I think my favourite thing of all, though, is that Parthenax actually comes in here. <laughs> and everywhere you look, Views and just, ooh, jaw dropping. Hmm. And these, say for example, I wanted to meditate on Harkon One Eye's battle axe. <laughs> I already have the blessing of that one, so. The Lord Stone, this one. That is nifty little feature. And how would you even know unless you literally go around and click on everything? <laughs> and this drawbridge you can raise or lower. Ah, bunny. <laughs> It's not over decorated, is it? And yet, I don't think I've got the key for that. Nope. Damn. <laughs> I thought I'd pick them all up. I will just tell you, one of the keys is in that fire. And there are various suits of armour in this place, too. Ah. See? <laughs> Just like that. Hmm. You never know what you're going to find. It's extraordinary. I've had a wonderful time in here. I was in here for maybe two hours yesterday. Just wandering around trying to figure things out for myself. Uh, then I went to the mod author's description. <laughs> okay, that was further down than I thought. Look at this beautiful pool. So, in th this version that I have, I have the mannequin version. And um, you can choose if you prefer not to have those. This is where Parthenax pops up. I, you know, I was looking at this thinking, that's a mighty big platform for something. And then the next time I came in here, there he was, up here, reading through his lens. <laughs> that book. That is so cool. And up here is your other... Oh, that's the one we came through. There is another entrance. All right, let's have a look at some of the features in this home. Uh, you've got two staff that live here. grand your room is. Impressive. Oh, <laughs> ask him to visit. Hey, do you know I didn't even know that was there? That is cool. A beautiful crystal dragon. 
Ceridilic brandy. Fabulous fireplaces, aren't they? And there's a couple of interesting features in this room. One of these mirrors, which one is it? This one. Brings you down to this little area. How nice. Lovely armory. And look where we are. adds to the mystery and the magic of the place. I love this. <laughs> Drem Yoi Lock. <laughs> A world between Mundus and Oblivion. How nice. Okay, and also, uh, you can. This is the steward's room, which is me. I'm the steward. I don't own this place because Parthenax is alive. Um, but you can see you've got that little cabinet that brings you right back out here again. Or, <laughs> there's also this <laughs> midnight snack hatch. So if you get peckish in the night pop down here to the kitchen. <laughs> that is cool. All these bedrolls and birds. And, oh yeah, there is a key also, I haven't actually picked it up yet, in one of these sacks. It might be that one up there. Oh. <laughs> All right, I'll come back to that. Ooh, nope, it's empty. Oh, boo. Okay, well, maybe it's one of these then. Hot and cold running water. Awesome. And I didn't realise that apparently it's a thing in America. You only have one tap. Uh, and you kind of mix your water to whatever temperature you want through your one tap. We tend to traditionally have two. <laughs> Look at all these. Beautiful. I'm sorry about the glitch, it is my lantern, it's not this mod. And one of the other keys that you'll be looking for is right down in that corner there. But I'm not going to say anymore, you'll see from the mod description when you read it as to what there is. Okay, so back down. We have this wonderful room. Don't think I've got that key yet for the Daedric display. Look at all these mannequins that you can use. Plus your workroom. Gorgeous smelter. This place has been really well planned. Uh, 
and alchemy over here. A couple of shelves. And a Skyforge. So that is nifty. And check out the enchanting. That is beautiful. I don't think the models went overboard at all with the decoration in here. If anything, it could have stood a little bit of green, maybe. But, you know, I actually like the simplicity of this place because although it is, you know, quite simple, there's still a lot to it. Oh, there he is. <laughs> I don't know why I get so happy about these things. Dude. Drem your lock. Greetings. Hmm? Greetings. Lovely fella. So, for that reason alone, this mod is now a permanent feature in my load order. There's also this interesting little thing and oddly this was actually the very first thing that I found just wandering around <laughs> it's like ooh trapdoor in the wall what's that <laughs> I just like this whole idea all of these. Ooh. Cave beetle. That's a new thing too. Oh, it gives you glow dust. And all these veins. And the boarded doorway, which when you click on it, the passage was only meant to be used once, so I won't be using it. But how cool is this? I just this whole place is just awesome. A lot of fun. Okay, where haven't we been yet? Oh yeah, these book moths. Oh, <laughs> too slow. Too slow, Dark Star. I can't remember what they give you. Oh, there's one. Chewed book page. <laughs> that is funny. So you can see just how splendid this place really is. Where didn't we go to? Kitchens we did, Alchemy Lab, Museum and Workshop and Enchanting. I think we've done most of the um, main features, including the bedrooms. Haven't seen the staff though, have we? They are here somewhere. It is quite a vast place though. Oh, and this nifty thing. <laughs> I really love this. How cool is that? Just water your crops. And then we get the sun back out. And this is nice. I would have liked for the soils to have been plantable by me, you know, so that I could have what I wanted. But it's nice to have the indoor garden. Plus, 
One of these. I thought they were peaches, you know, until I saw the perfect tomato, which I understand is a like a heal potion, so that's nifty. How cool. Really innovative, isn't it? Where is everybody? I didn't dream them. There was Kira and Logarth, I think the other one's called. Look at that. Beautiful thing. Oh, hey. Lorath. This simple little room. And Akira will sell to you. I'm not sure where she's got to, but she's in here somewhere. Oh, she's gone to bed. Kira Wintermorn. And there was some secret down here in her stuff as well, if I remember. <laughs> Look at the fishing rod. Well, maybe I had it already. Anyhow, smashing. that wonderful view of the library and Parthenax. I'll call that the end of this video and I will see you soon for another.